Looking at a Range Rover here. Oh, it says Land Rover on it. It's got a voltage drop. Draining the battery over about three, maybe four days. Now, I didn't have an amp clamp that I could fit it in there. Well, I do, but I don't think it would be very good at reading milliamps. So what I've done is connected up these resistors, 1 ohm 10 watt resistors, so that I could see whether it's coming in from the battery and going to the alternator through this wire and starter. And the other choice it had was to go into the car, so that's why I've split it and the direction I'm going to go into is the one going into the car. On the inside of the car, I'm using a voltmeter, checking the millivolts across the fuses. I think you can see them without the light. Okay. Out of these, I only had two that had any millivolts across them, and it was the where was it? The twenty. Must be that one, and that ten. They are the only two. This one, the twenty. I'm sure that went away when I pressed the, the switch to put this glove compartment light out. That one went away, but when on the 10 it stayed. So that, that's, that's where I'm at just now. Going across the 20 amp, both, both bits, both multimeter leads are onto the top of the fuse. I got 1.4 millivolts, all the other ones go right down to zero. The light's on, but I don't know if I can get this so you can see it. Ah, that's gone out now. That's timed out. That might just be handy. Millivolts, right. That light's timed itself out, I think. So, let's go across here. And go across those two again like I had before. Right, there we go. Yeah, that's zero. I'm across them. The one that had something and that light's timed itself out and got out. It's zero. If you're disconnected, it's not zero. It moves about with a ghost voltage. So, the only one that had anything on it was the, the 10. 10 amp over here. If I do the same test now that that light's out. And that one is also zero. Right? So we know it's nothing to do with anything that's powered off the fuse. Oh, and I've also checked this fuse here. The aftermarket sort of looking one. That was the first fuse that I checked, and that was okay. Okay, this one's going dead. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm going to check the milliamps. I've put little jumper wires on here. And to here, so that when I lift the clamp off, if I'm careful, like that. Right, I've got one amp. So it is too high. I've only used that so that I can hold the phone, otherwise I would have just used my hands. Basically, I'm just making a circuit. And the battery was dead, so I'm using a jump pack instead of the battery. So that I can do these tests, but that is a bit high. So it does look like I do need to. I do need to be looking for a battery drain. We know it's not the front fuse box because this has been quite a while now. I don't know if I could ease my hands and let that just relax. Yeah, I'll try and leave it like that so that I can keep coming back to it and checking it. Any problem with this is it ties up your multimeter into the circuit. But if I used a little wire, I could just put an amp clamp around it every once in a while. It's 100 milliamps, not one amp, I don't know. Whether it's changed or whether I said it wrong, it's 100 milliamps, but it's still too high. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's one, 100 million. I'll give it a few minutes and see what happens. Okay, so I'm in the back of the car and I'm going to jet the fuse box here. I don't like this fuse, this uh, multimeter in the daylight, you just can't see anything. But in the back of the car, it's okay. But inside a workshop, so I'm going to do the same test, check these fuses, see if any of these have a voltage drop. Found a couple more fuses hiding away. I've got this one and that one that look aftermarket. One of them that's a bit of a mess and I couldn't get it to clamp back together, that's how I found it. Although it was behind those wires so I didn't see it. This one here next to it, I have a voltage drop across it of, I uh, can't remember now. I'll just recheck it again, one second. Okay, 0 0.6 millivolts, not much. That's the only one that's got a voltage drop in the back. The one next to it, I'll check that one again. The one next to it does go down to zero. When I go across there, I can't go across the top of the fuse on these because it's not got the, the holes in the right place. It's just got one in the center. When I do that, check on this one that's way back here. I'll try and get onto it again. That one, that fuse there. 0 0.6. So I could see what that works out to be with the amp and see what it equates to. 30 milliamps. So if I take this off here, whatever that one is, I think we found a problem. Let's see what's happened at the front of the car now to the amperage. This is what it was before for a while. I think it was just trying to shut down. So it does look like it's that small fuse at the back. 50 milliamps, 60. It's just a little bit too high, acceptable for some cars. I suppose if you're starting at regular, but not this one. Okay, so 0 0.6, 0 0.8. I'll pull that fuse back out and see what happens. Disconnected again. I see what I got here. That's it. That's the fuse that we had trouble with. Then, gotta find out what that aftermarket fuse does. There's something that I've seen. Um, seen a lot of things where they say if you've got problems with anything aftermarket, and this was. Um, Joe's Auto Electric that I watch on YouTube. Anything aftermarket, have a look at that first. And that looks pretty aftermarket. And he's spot on. I've just gone for them. Well, I didn't go for that first because I didn't see it first. But as soon as I did, that looks like we found the problem. Just got to figure out what that does now. I just started the car. I pulled the fuse out that I showed you. And... We're happy with it, just being removed. I think it might be for the hands-free control, coming all the way from the back. I just got asked to leave the fuse out and stop there, so that's fine. I'm going to see how the car goes on for the next few days. Left it running to put some charge back in it because the battery was totally dead. Thanks for watching.